Hello everyone, Scoops here, another episode of Julia Among the Stars. We are, hold on, let's see if I can go outside. Exit outside. We are underwater, we're examining this submarine. In the last episode, we moved a uh, weird life form out of the way. It was blocking, it was eating this corpse, as lovely as that sounds. Uh, and yeah, here we go. Let's... Observation. The chest has been ripped <clears throat> apart. I'm glad that we trapped it. You seem to be awfully calm, Rachel. Well, judging by the timeline of the expedition, this poor soul died long ago. I am curious if the data pad is still operational. Uh, search... <laughs> search the body. Commentary. The place where the life form was connected to the body is full of tiny organic parts. I will obtain a relevant sample. Hey, yeah, this whole thing is just kind of disgusting. Let's see how Yamabushi technology performs under extreme conditions. Hey. All right. Let's analyze this. Come on. Bam. Uh, the corpse is half eaten by an unknown entity. The bones show an inc interesting absence of trialxium phosphate, which might have been absorbed by the ailing life form. Ooh, that's kind of disgusting. Uh, data pad. Ooh. Hold on. Are we good here? Okay, we're good. <laughs> Slight glitching out, but that's okay. Ooh, an enhanced analysis. Mm. Oh, crap. Not much in here. <clears throat> You're probably right, Mobot. Not so fast. The patterns look like sentences. It might be something decipherable. <sighs> see what looks like punctuation and apostrophe marks. I see what you mean. Time for me to do some analysis. Okay. I think that every alphabetic character is represented by a two-digit number. Uh. Let me provide you with unique numbers. Now we put the alphabet below. All right. First you select one of the unique okay, numbers like and match fun. it to a letter. Then, everywhere that same number appears in the code, I will change it to the okay. letter you have selected. Continue to match numbers and letters until the code has been translated. Can you also provide me with information as to which letters have already been used? Sure. I apologize for not being able to provide you with a better interface. Thank you. I think this will be fine. Okay, this doesn't actually look too bad. Um, so each two letters corresponds to, or sorry, each two numbers corresponds to a letter. So I'm assuming this thing right here is either I'm or like two or go or something like that. So let's see, 36 I? Yes, 94M. Yes! Haha! Uh, 90 is probably A. Yep, yep. Um, I'm not sure what to do from here. <laughs> A, maybe 25 is T? Yes! Um, hmm. 98T. What would it, what would a two-letter word with T ending in T and say that's not it or at? <laughs> um, at GT. Um, yeah, ought no. St, st. No, probably not. Huh. Maybe something else. Um. T blank M, O maybe ninety seven O. Tom, is that a person? Yes, it is. Aha. Um. Okay, look at this word right here. O A, letter M. O O D M. No. What would that be? I'm assuming like another. It's got to be like a name or something like right that right. So maybe like E. Oh, yay. Oh, you. Okay, this is clearly not a proper language. <laughs> Just looking at the words that we're seeing right now. <clears throat> I'm Tom. T Whoa. Okay, yeah, this is just kind of like a shit fest. Um, I guess it's almost just guessing at this point. Wait, was that correct? Could I just pick one? Oh, crap. Okay, 
No, I thought this was working, but perhaps it is not. All right, all right. No, I'm thinking there could be another word. I'm thinking 36 is probably we. 90 is probably still A. Yeah. Um. Wait, didn't I hit 90? Yeah, there we go. We. Maybe. Oops. Now? Ha. We now have. Okay, this is coming together. 97. Uh, 34 E. Whoa, we now. Oops, not F. <laughs> e. Oh, crap. No. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, 94 E. <laughs> we now. And then 34 V. We now have a uh, blank. At, or wet. Oh, energy. 17. Uh, where's 17? N. Er. 96. G. Oh, wait. Hi. 98. I. And 40 is Y. Energy weapon. 12. P. Oh, it's coming together. Uh. With? 92T, maybe? That's not how you spell with. <laughs> uh, which, maybe? 92. Which can... What would that word be? A, that's probably, 72 is probably... L, all, solve, 19, S, all, uh, 27, U, prob, 91, B, B, 91, problems, 73, M, ha, 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 uh, uh, 25, T, at, probably, at the, at n forest planet, ha <laughs> ha It seems the local inhabitants are sentient beings, and uh, 93. And we were able to communicate about our activities there. We can't have that, can we? The parts are to be tested below the water level. Once we find suitable environment, we'll assemble the weapon and prepare the test launch. Let's hope we can fix. <laughs> uh, 39. Fix this problem without leaving evidence, Julia. This must be it. Confir Wait ah. a minute, am I reading this right? Alright, yeah, we now have a uh, high energy weapon. Da -da 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 -da. Once we find a suitable environment, we'll as assemble the weapon or prepare the test launch. Let's hope we can fix uh, this problem without leaving any evidence. Julia confirmed that all of these beings are isolated at one specific location so we can get them all with one shot. Whoa, this is crazy. Whoa, so it's like a conspiracy, Julia. Whoa, we created a weapon to kill them? So those bastards were going to kill an entire population over their mistake on Ambrosia. No, this can't be true. Calm down, Rachel. They didn't succeed. <clears throat> Let their graves serve as a testament to justice. I still can't believe their cruelty. The Ambrosians were innocents, already tormented by their past, and we were going to wipe out their entire species, just like that. You only have one option, Rachel. To show that you're better than the rest of your crew. Is there anything else stored in that datapad? Let me see. Ah, here it is. <gasps> Those huge crates obviously contain the weapon parts. And I'm downloading a blueprint for the weapon construction in case we ever need such a thing. I wish I could report this atrocity. Just let it go. In the end, <laughs> no Ambrosian was harmed with this weapon. Just let it go, Rachel. Just let it go. I won't break right. into song, don't worry. According to the datapad, the weapon was never assembled. 
This means that we should be able to find all the parts in here. As long as they aren't in the inaccessible part of the submarine. I don't think so. I believe that we can find the parts <clears throat> right here. Well, let me guess, all these fucking Look crates. I've found some of the parts. If you watched last episode, uh, Julie was a bitch about all the crates that I wanted to look at. She was like, uh, you don't need them, you don't need them. Bullshit. Totally do. But I haven't been up here, the so let's check this. Is stuck. Oh. I wonder what's up there. I don't think you want to know, Rachel. Why? It's all those people who were on this submarine at the time of the impact. And this one here? He never made it inside before they sealed the hatch. And in the end, sealing him outside didn't save their lives at all. Aw, uh, can we blast torch through this at all? No, damn it, come on. Alright, more crate. Didn't contain anything useful. Sort of junk. Large one. More weapon parts. More weapon parts. Um, I know there's some down here. More weapon parts. Hey! Um, where else is there something? Is there, there's something... There's probably some in here. Don't want to open up that door. One's empty. More weapon parts. Hey! Shit's getting real. More weapon parts. Can you say it differently next time? Medical supplies. Uh, anything else here? I guess. Oh, right, it doesn't show. You have got to be <laughs> kidding me. It was so hard to trap, and now you just want to release it like that? You're right, Julia. I must have been out of my mind. I wasn't out of my mind. I was curious, damn it. All right, is there anything else around here? Exit to storage. No, I can't go down that hallway. All right, go back to storage. I feel like there's more here. I haven't... Exit outside. To the front, yeah. Oh, there's one there. More weapon parts. More weapon parts. We're done. There we, we go. We have all the parts we need to build the weapon. Right. Now we need to find out how to assemble the weapon. <sighs> Let's use the analytic station. You mean on Mobot? Yeah. There we go. More crap. <laughs> I'm assuming there's parts to this. Okay, this is gonna be balls. Alright, tell me what to do. Yes, okay. So you can kind of see... Can I take these out somehow? What would we do? Would that connect them? No. You can see that this would probably be right there. Hmm. Can I, like, remove these somehow? Restart? Try over? Wait. How would I do that? Oh no, where's my, uh... Mobot? Where's your, uh... Screen there? Okay, here we go. So I can't attach that yet. Can I, like, attach these somehow? It's like I have to do it this way, but it's not letting me. Yeah. So I have to attach these things. Or not those things, but... Yeah, I have to do it that way. Like, it won't work any other way. Oh! Okay, well, that looks like it'll connect to that. No? No? Okay, maybe this thing? Probably not that. Wait. No. Oops. <laughs> this just seems like a crapshoot. There we go. Oh yeah, four bells. Okay, we gotta be able to connect one of these things. No? 
<laughs> it's gotta go on. No? Ooh. Okay, we've assembled the weapon. Let's review the trial of Kseer. We know that we have to hunt it at night, and the weapon is ready. You're right, Rachel. I've modified it to focus on a much smaller diameter. The only thing left to do is to find Kseer, set up the calibration marks, and destroy it. How do you want to calibrate it? Do you remember the laser beacons we found on Elpis? They should be strong enough to be seen from the orbit. If we position them in Kseer's proximity, I can eradicate him. Let's do it. Let's face Xeer. All right, we get to face Xeer. To what end? I'm not sure. <laughs> it kind of seems like a who cares thing, but sure. Shouldn't we just leave? Um, is he on Phaedros? This is the this desert planet, right? What's the plan here? Whoa. Phaedrus is so calm at night. I can understand why our crew never expected any danger lurking here. We need to track it down. It must be hiding somewhere around here. So let's explore and see if we can find a trace. Let's go over our plan. We trace Xeer's hiding spot, place our laser beacons around it, and you blast it from orbit, right? If nothing goes wrong, then yes. <laughs> and about that weapon, it seemed to be awfully small. Don't worry, Rachel. It was just a prototype. We are now equipped with an extended version. Yeah. Get some real power. So wait, hold on. We place beacon. Look at this. It looks like Seer went right through this place and recently. Let's follow the slime trail while it's still hot. Why are you whispering, Rachel? Xeer won't hear us in the probe. Sorry, I got a little carried away. I've never been hunting before. <laughs> and technically, you are not even hunting now. I'm taking all the risk. Oh, come on, Nobot. It's perfectly safe. Observation. The trail is vanishing. We need to follow it carefully, or we'll lose it. No. No. Up this way. No. Yep. Yep. No. Yeah, okay. I don't think I needed to have, uh, oops. There we go. Oh, you're heading south, eh? Yeah, I'm not really sure what the beacons are exactly for. Because you had left. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, down, probably left. Yeah. Come on. I'm on to you. You big old lug. Nope, down. Nope. Left. 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 More left. Probably up. I think Whoa. we might have found something. Yes. The slime trails end in the very center of this area. If we place light beacons on squares adjacent to the center, I can get enough data for calibrating the weapon. Ah, oh, okay. So I did botch that. Alright, so if I go way back over here and r retrieve the beacon for me. So like, oh wait, adjacent. I'm doing the diagonally. Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, we're figuring it out. Feel like diagonally looks nicer. I think we've got all the beacons in place. All right, so how's Let's this going to go them down? In place and try to calibrate the position. <gasps> Here we go. Bam! Come on, Gazir. Your ass is grass. I still don't know to what end we're <laughs> blowing you up. Calibrating in three, two. One. Oh well, so much for the easy way. What happened? <laughs> the power cells are well beyond their lifetime. Any ideas now? Mobot, can you try to power them with a brief power surge? I can try. 
I might be able to revive them for a short amount of time. Oh Examine God. the beacons like pain. and search for their power cells. Look closer. Um. All right. Oh. I don't really know what we're doing here. All right. <laughs> no, no, look closer, damn it. Oh, that worked. Oh, I botched it. Lights up. <laughs> oh, here he comes. You can do it, Mobot. Oh my God, I believe in you. Or not, quick. It's coming right after me. We need to do this one more time. I was not able oh, to gather on. sufficient calibration data. You mean that I should do this again while it's hunting me? How about we switched places? <laughs> Shut up and run for it! Uh... Oh my god. No! Am I down? Run, Mobot, run! Oh wait, I can't remember which one this is. All right, cool. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> run, Mobot, run. Go faster. Okay, you got that one. Good. You're clean. You're clean. You're there. Come on. Use those. No. Oh my god. Mobot, you can do it. Get up. Get up, Mobot. <gasps> oh my god. No, bot. <gasps> Blasted! What happened? I don't know. I've lost contact with Mobot. Oh no. There's no way I can contact him. Are you telling me that you've destroyed him with the weapon? I... I am not sure. Great job. Now what am I going to do? Do we have some sort of backup plan? Not really. We're pretty much stuck without Mobot. And I suppose we don't have any spare Mobots lying around, right? How can you even say this? <laughs> don't you care about him at all? It's just a robot, Julia. If we found a blueprint, we might... Oh, shut up, Rachel. Oh. I'm stuck on the probe with an artificial intelligence who destroyed our only exploration means. And now it tells me to shut up. You know what? I'm gonna grab some sleep. Wake me up if anything happens. Rachel, you're walking on eggshells right now. This robot can control your life support, okay? That's a bad idea to get it pissed off. <laughs> Just saying. Don't mess Any with news? it. Any news? No, nothing at all. Hey, I've got an idea. I can descend and try to fix him somehow. You had problems with just pushing the right button at the right time. <laughs> and now you want to repair something as complex as Mobot? That wasn't very nice of you, Julia. I'm just trying to help. How long has it been since we lost contact? It will be 10 hours. I slept that long. I must have really been exhausted. Let's wait a little longer before we leave this place. I agree. We deserve... Mobot deserves that. It's not his fault. It's not his fault. Still no answer? No. I think we should... move on. Julia, it feels wrong that he's not here. I miss him too. Let's leave this cursed planet. Anywhere you want to go. I don't care. So testy. Uh, I think this is glitching out slightly. <gasps> Send power. Send power to Mobot. Oh my god. Oh, stupid. <laughs> stupid glitching my out. My name is Mobot2401. Oh my god. Mobot, it's... you're alive. I am. <laughs> I'm activating his maintenance interface. We've saved him. Yay! Mobot, Mobot, Mobot. Self checks finalized. It seems you're fully operational again. Yay! What was that? It seems that the huge blast disabled your electronics. How long have I been switched off? It doesn't matter now. Welcome back. So let's see what this Xeer is made of. It looks mechanical. It's a biomechanical machine. Affirmative. Xia seems to be an artificial construction. It is an incredibly intricate machine. 
I've never encountered anything so complex. Any chance we could use it somehow? Remember what our rock told us? There is something which looks like a control unit. It would seem so. I'll extract it, and we can analyze it. Need to get my rocks off. <laughs> I don't think we can find anything else here. Let's leave this place and visit our favorite piece of rock. Yes. Oh my god, this is intense. Okay. That probe. Can I do anything here? Solar system. Messages? Oh, okay. It was just kind of glitching out. Uh, I think it was one of these. Yeah, it was this one right here. Land. Rocks. Wait, no. How do I move? Isn't it over here? Another. Pi I'm slow. There is. No I know. Just. Pi Isn't this how I went? Oh, there we go. Hello. Gazir. Fulfilled your quest. You understand now, don't you? No, I think I understand even less. Why was Kseer built? And who would build such a terrible machine? We thought it was a living being, but it was created by someone. Why do humans build weapons? <clears throat> it's a weapon? Indeed. A weapon so powerful that it makes the creators appear indestructible. Like you. I think I understand now. First you show its terrible power, and then by flipping a switch, show you can control it. Very clever. Clever? I call it disgusting. Nonetheless, you now understand much more about the history of this solar system. But it's not the reason why we sent you there. As we can see, you've extracted a vital part of Seer. <clears throat> this part belongs to the Temple of Eternal Flow. Go there and you know what to do next. Can't you tell me more? We are approaching the limits of neutrality. <laughs> For that reason, this is our last conversation. You will not see us again. Soon, you will have to make an important decision, and it will be solely yours to make. Farewell. Mm, craziness. Alright. Farewell, Rockman. Oop, you're coming towards me. You're coming to say goodbye. He's going to teleport or something. Yep, there you go. And it's gone. So many questions left to answer. Cheer up, Rachel. We should use his advice and try the Xeer part in the temple. All right, let's go then. All right, this might be a long episode, but I feel like I should probably... Oh, wait, that's not where we have to go. Um, finish this place off. That's not where I have to go either. I have to, like, analyze it. Hold on. In here, maybe? It fits perfectly. Observation. Something is moving. Oh my god. Wow. It Whoa. looks like we're being directed somewhere. All right. Hello there. It looks like some kind of star map. Do you recognize where this is? We need to analyze it. I'll scan the data. Mobot, get me the full 3D scan. Sending now. Let's look at the map now. Warning, I am losing focus. What? Oh my god, well it was always an illusion, right? If you remember back a couple episodes. So it was <gasps> just an illusion? I am not so sure about that, Rachel. The data flow was real. It looked more like a manipulation of reality to me. Whatever that was, I'm glad <laughs> it's gone. Back to your safe haven where everything makes sense, god, right? God, she's so testy. I guess. Alright, um, do I get to analyze this? at all? Yes, here we go. Come on. <clears throat> ah, here we go. According to my 3D scan from the temple, we should try to pinpoint the four displayed constellations. Easier said than done. I don't see how I can locate the correct star constellations. There are too many stars. 
I think I can simplify things for you. Please do. Look at this. All right. Oh, ooh, even better. What have you done? Oh, this does look easier. I've divided the surroundings into three layers based on distance. <clears throat> you can switch between the layers using the forward and backward arrows. I've included a constellation highlighter. If you click on it, it will stay lit regardless of whatever layer you are looking at. Perfect. I'm on it. Just try to locate all four constellations and I'll calculate the rest. Don't forget to consult the scanned constellations. Hold on, what? What are we looking for, though? Alright, I'm looking for one that looks like that. I see, like, kind of four down the middle. That kind of looks like that one. Yeah, that's that. Is that it? Or is that it? No, that's not it. Yeah, that looks like the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. New hologram? Is it always going to be one? That looks like it, though, right? I can see, like, the big one, the kind of two right here to the big one. It's the same as that. Yeah, that's that's one. <laughs> right? Uh, is this it? No. Anything else look like it? I don't think so. All right. Oh, constellation number two. Here we go. Um, so I see kind of two there and one there. I'm going to look for that. No, I don't think it's anywhere here. Let's go down one. Two close together. One kind of further away. Uh, I'm looking for two stars. No, I'm not seeing anything right there. Huh. I wonder if it keeps the same shape, in a sense, you know what I mean? Because like, this could be like two there and then one there, but I don't think so. Huh. I see two there, but that doesn't really jive with what I see otherwise. Can I move this to number three? Alright, so I see two and then one up in the corner there. Two. That looks like it. Yeah, I got the two, the kind of three, so two, one, two, three, the cluster there, and the one over there. Yep, yeah, that's that one. All right, what's four? Four kind of has a big wide triangle thing too. And these all seem to be the same shape, so I think, yeah, I don't think they rotate at all. Ooh, is this it? Yes, that's it right there. See the one, two, three, one, two, three, plus the two, one really close right there, and that one right there. All right, so we just need uh, two then. Oh, is it right here? No. Yeah, this one's a tricky one. I really don't see this anywhere. I feel like the biggest indicator would be these two right here, but I can't see that anywhere. I can see ones like that that are kind of in the same shape, but not put together in any kind of way. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Bam! Here we go. What kind of planet we got? I think we, we found it. <gasps> 
The star map has revealed a secret planet in this solar system. I think we should look there. It might be a good idea, although it could also be dangerous. Well, we don't have much of a choice, do we? You're right. Let's go there now. I am failing to see the kind of point of all of this. <laughs> you know, it's funny because we entered here and to discover what happened to the like one uh, expedition, and everyone died. And it seems like everyone el everywhere else, someone died, but never particularly for any kind of mysterious reasons. I just feel like just shit went bad, like going crazy. <laughs> But n not really for any particular reason. So it seems weird that we have motivation to kind of go off and do stuff. Alright, let's scan this unknown planet. Who am I, can to, pla com who am I to complain? Uh, it has presumably been created by an alien race. The whole planet is covered by biomechanical contraptions, and it's possible that the whole place could even be a one working device. An interesting observation is that the planet must be equipped with a powerful cloaking device because it was invisible to the high range scanner. Ooh, here we go. Uh, as Mobot stands on this weird world, this place is fucking creepy. One thing is undeniable even the most advanced creation on Earth is primitive in comparison to the wonder of this artificial planet. Yet somehow it seems even more real, more personal. Is it that humans would never achieve such advancements while keeping their souls intact? Or is it simply because we will never have the chance to know these beings, now long gone from this world? This place is creepy! Oh my god! Ah, oh, maybe... It, should I finish this episode? Yeah, you know what? This is probably already running long anyway. <laughs> Sorry if it's a bit of a tease, but uh... Yeah, I think we can do this episode tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, I hope you guys are excited. I'm pretty excited. I'm guessing tomorrow will be the last episode, but that'll be it for me today. So thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Goodbye.